Yo, what up, everybody? I hope you got your popcorn ready. We're going to be here a while. 2018 Donner's Football, six boxes, number seven. <sighs> Spoiler alert. I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. This break is hell, people. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Way too many base cards. 24 packs per box, 10 cards per pack. That's 240 cards in one box. So in six boxes, we're looking at over a thousand cards. About 70% of them base cards. So I'm going to try to get through this uh, as quickly as possible. For my sanity, and more importantly, your sanity. Freak of nature, come, come help me pack stack, dog. Oh boy, here we go. So I'm only going to be announcing hits. If they are numbered, a relic, or an autograph. I will not be announcing any inserts or rookies. Otherwise, we'd be here for at least two hours. And I know you guys don't want to do that. As always, I'll show every single card. But I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. Well, there's a really thick relic in that. Did you really, Ryan? Nice, man. Was it out of jumbo or hobby? Because hobby has those uh, those gold wave refractors, the hobby exclusive. What is terp sauce? Alrighty. See what we got here. Good luck, everybody. And there's also cards like facing different directions. This stuff is just a breaker's nightmare. Ah, I got you, Ryan. That's I was going to say, that's still pretty awesome, dude. To 89, Amari Cooper, Raiders. Melvin Gordon, press proof, chargers. Yeah, Jimbo, that's not how that works. In case you didn't know, that's not how that works. I have to wait till at least 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Brett Kern, Titans, aqueous test. If it wasn't for all these base cards, this would be a nice set. Because some of these inserts are really nice. 
Corey Clemens to 100 Eagles. Well, yeah, Jim, because, you know, I have to wait for the retailers to open up and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I cannot have a, uh, a competitive advantage. And if I did break it and somebody was told, like one of the, you know, one of the manufacturers or whatever, that would negatively affect my allocations. Which is uh, translation, no bueno. Like these MVP cards are pretty sick. The rated rookies are always nice. These gridiron keys are dope too. To 100 Thurman Thomas Bills. Ah, oh, gotcha, Kells. Gotcha. Send me some of that in the mail, dog. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Rashad Penny. Press proof Seahawks. Odell Beckham Jr. to 75, die cut for the Giants. What is this? Nice. What? Oh, shit. Three out of five. Got a piece of the football. Joe Mon. Tana, oh, that is sick. Joe Montana, three out of five. That is disgusting. That's a sick hit, in case you didn't know. Now you know, because I told you. That is nice. That is nice. Sick. All right, let's keep going. There's gr there's really nice stuff to be had in in Donruss. You just gotta take a shot, and there you go, Niners, man. That is disgusting. DJ Moore of the Panthers to ninety nine. These old school cards are pretty cool too. So my Piranha 25, two color relic for the Redskins. Alright, that's one box down. And it was really good with that Montana, man. Damn. Easily the sickest hit I've had of Donruss. I am getting hungry. I've been snacking on like potato chips and those little peanut butter thingies there that Jason has. That is not good. Eating like absolute garbage right now. I wish they had like a Waffle House close by. I would go to Waffle House 10 times out of 10. If, if I had to choose between Denny's or Waffle House, I would rather risk the uh, risk getting shot at, at the Waffle House 
and then get the same crabby food at Denny's. Denny's Denny's needs some competition. Denny's needs some competition, and it's not IHOP. IHOP is not competition to to to, to Denny's. <clears throat> you know, you feel me, freak? You get that waffle, fully loaded hash browns, some scrambled eggs, yo. Love me some Waffle House. The International House of Boigas, which I, I've, I've come to hear is, is not true. But still. It's all about the experience. Denny's is known for half-cooked food and terrible service. And yet people go non-stop. They need a direct competitor. You know what I'm saying? They, like, what if we came up with, like, Uncle Jesse's Diner and have that thing be a franchise? You know, you know you would want, you know you would eat at Uncle Jesse's Diner? If I came out with a diner called Uncle Jesse's Diner, how many of y'all would eat there? Like, without telling you the menu, how many of y'all would eat there? And I, and I kind of already know what I'm going to serve. I try it once, and that's all I need. Because I'm going to sprinkle crack on all the food and then get you hooked. That's the secret. So it doesn't matter what I serve. The biscuit. I'm serving biscuits all day. With ink on them, though. That one's to 75 die-cut bears. Now, I, I would definitely do, like... It'd be like a, a Hispanic fusion kind of deal. It'd be like a Hispanic fusion kind of deal. Where, like, everything that I serve has, like, a, a Hispanic twist to it. So it'd be like, like Hispanic fusion. And I would also like have uh, I would probably offer like a uh, a green menu if you catch my drift and you know you order off the green menu you know you know you're gonna get a little something 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 you know oh pastelitos and coffee for sure like legit cop like legit Cuban coffee slash Colombian coffee pastelitos with 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 nice guava cream cheese in them fire to 400 Chris Carter Vikings. Like a Mexican Asian fusion place would be dope. You know, I would do something like that. Like, I would do like Asian fusion with my Hispanic twist. Like, I have an idea for chicken wings that I don't want to tell you because it's really good and I know somebody will take it and then make money off it and then I'm looking like a jerk. Brandon Marshall to 54 Broncos. I would really like to like have a bar. Like a bar bar and grill kind of deal. Like a sports bar and grill. But dude, a liquor license is like a quarter million dollars or something. And you got to renew that yearly. I could be off. I'm sure it's different in other states. But in the state of Florida, I think a liquor license is like anywhere from 150 to a quarter million, which is crazy. Dak Prescott Cowboys relic right there. Although I'm sure you'd make that money back like really quick. 
if business were booming. Nick Foles, Eagles, gold to 50. Nice looking card. What do we have here? Hey, Jaleel Scott to 499 autograph for the Ravens. There you go, Ravens getting a hit. Yo, Ryan, are you still watching? If so, what, did you do anything with that jersey? Like you got that thing framed up and everything? Because that's what I was going to do. And then I asked, oh, who's a Rams fan? And then you were like, me and my favorite player is, and my favorite player is Todd Gurley. So I was like, shit, that's, I'm not going to keep him. Give it to my dog. Uh, 11,000 to 300,000 in Florida, depending on if it's purchased on the open market or one in the Florida license law. Huh. Interesting. I guess I got to pay my governor a visit and, and, uh, win it for the low, low. Yeah, that, 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 that's expensive. Oh, you already know I'm going to have me some, have me some ladies of the night, Kells. It's going to be a full-on experience. And I'm going to have something for the kids, too. <laughs> ah! All right. Aqueous says Nelson Aguilar Eagles. You know, it'll be like a stripper daycare. Boom! Million-dollar idea right there. A stripper daycare, yo. Half of them are moms already. You know, they'll have, I'll have like tutors in there, giving the kids apple juice, teaching them the uh, the ABCs, and then uh, going and shaking that TNA. Marquise Lee Jaguars, well, press proof. Dude, Hooters is so overrated. It's all about that wing house, dog. Well, it depends on the Hooters, too. To 100, Jerry Kramer of the Packers. These are cool looking guards. Whoa, yeah, Greg, that's... No, no, no. That's that's for the franchise in, like, Thailand or something. We, we keep it classy in the States. Lemon pepper wings from Wingstop are f so good. So good. And also, you know, it's funny enough. I was uh, we, uh, me and my, me and Mario were at uh, we're at the ale house last night here, in uh, in Pinecrest. And I had I had me that uh that that Zinger Mountain Melt. Oh, that thing is so good. Sammy D. Press proof for the Jets. Are you for real, Jimbo? <sighs> See, people like that are what uh, fuck the hobby up. Honestly, if I knew who that was, I would I would report him for sure. He probably doesn't care. But I'm not going to risk my allocations just to open up a box. If that guy wants to do it, go good for him. I want to box three, though. Right, Listen, the the Dang it, I need top loaders. You feel me, Ryan? I mean, it, it, it is what it is. You got to love the Donruss troll. <laughs> it's <laughs> Ah. All right, let me grab some topplers. I need 100s. 
Correct the moon though? Yes, sir. Almost four hours, but the amount has been open. We've almost been non-stop this stream for four hours. We're just trying to There you go. That's how it's supposed to be. My boy Mario killing it at the Pokemon breaks over there. Y'all check my boy out. If you like Pokemon. And he's a cute looking guy too, so. Check him out on Twitch. Yeah, he needs some towels. Buy my man some towels. Jimbo. That's what we call the good old uh, quote unquote LCS. And dude, a first edition Charizard would probably go for a few bills. Pokemon is money, dog. Like, if you, like, the original set. If it's in great condition, that stuff is money. I mean, it is what it is, man. YouTubers don't care about anything, honestly. If that's what he is, he's a YouTuber. Somebody probably gave him the box and was like, Here, bro, open it. But you can't open it until the 15th. And then YouTuber was like, oh, well, technically it's the 15th, so I'm going to go ahead and open it, bro. I have not, Wolfie. I have not. I have not. Well, I mean, I did one time. I went over to Pokemon Breaks, and I did a break for him or whatever. But I had no idea what I was looking at. But it's cool stuff, man. The artwork is beautiful. The cards have, like, uh, some of the cards have, like, a texture to them. You know what I mean? It's cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Like full or like on like the entire card is like artwork. It's cool stuff. Sixty thousand dollars for a first edition Charizard. And it probably it's probably graded to like a nine or something at that. Or a nine five. I don't think there's any perfect uh PSA 10 Charizard first editions out there in the streets. And if they are, they're probably just chilling somewhere. Dude, I lost count after sec after the second generation. I was like, well, pfft, forget this. I discovered girls, girls. Uh, you mean... This, Ryan? The lady who did the artwork for uh, Alan and Ginter and does the artwork for Tops. Oh, dude, Yu-Gi-Oh! is the shiznit. I still play Yu-Gi-Oh! Are these the ones you're talking about? That's a drawing. That's also a drawing. I think there's like another person that she had. Yeah, there's the Harper right there. Yeah, she signed all of them. Uh, she came by our booth and said hi to Jason. Uh, I was taking care of a customer, so I couldn't really talk to her or her husband, Ka uh, Kazoo. But, um, but yeah, no, she, she does really, really amazing artwork. It would have been nice to, like, meet her. Because, like, dude, look at, look at the artwork, man. Yeah, this is our personal living set you know, for me and Jason. I'm keeping one of each. I'm keeping an Ichiro and a Cunha and a Harper. And she signed them all. Like, all of them are signed. So. I don't know how Jason's going to decide to do uh, the giveaways for these. But uh, I got one of each. And so does he. Beautiful stuff. Ryan, I can make that happen for you, buddy. Let me make a note.
Two. All right, there you go, Ryan. I made a note. Six. And you know my word. You, I got you, dog. Uh, freak of nature. I'm pretty sure you know my answer to that. Freak of nature, when you stop dropping bills, if when you start dropping half the bills Ryan does, then I'll take care of you, dog. I love you, buddy, but no. Because what do you think I'm going to do with those cards, bro? <laughs> we going to sell them, bit. We're going to keep one each, and then we're going to sell them. This is a business, bro. This ain't no charity. Unless you're Ryan. I freaking love that guy. 4 out of 10. Ezekiel Ansa. Lions. That's pretty low, so I'm going to upload that. Uh, Frank Taffy, to answer your question, dude, uh, we did fill that Elements football in the store. That's done. Uh, we do have Contenders Optic football from 2017. That we need some help on that. And there's the Unparalleled that comes out tomorrow. Three spots are going to win a gold pack each. And that, we got that going on. And then there's also the Donruss football half caser that we have in the store as well. Freak, why would I do that, bro? That that thing is that is in the collection, dog. Dude, Ryan, don't you don't have to get us anything. Just keep throwing money at us. <laughs> as fucked up as that sounds. Dude, I got them both, freak. Like, come on, dog. Boom. I got the Porters right here. And then, uh, where's the South Beach card? And boom. And I, and, I, and I got the South Beach card, dog. Come on now. Come on now, freak. Robert Woods of the Rams, press proof. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I got the big Greg card too. Kill the guy. Andy Dalton, Aqueous Test Bengals. Always, forever and ever. I, I need to get like a, like a display case or something. For the autographs that I've gotten. Literally every autograph that I have in my possession has been gifted to me. Which honestly, you guys don't know what that means to me. Like it means a lot, honestly. So I, I, I kind of like, I want to like, I don't even know where to look for that, honestly. Like a little display case. Where I, I kind of want to put it up here too. To show off what I got. Carson Wentz of the Eagles to 100. See like these old school... Cards are pretty cool. Dude, Any anything that's ever been gifted to me, I keep. Like, I like that stuff means the world to me, honestly. Because you don't have to do it. Like, nobody like nobody has to give me anything. Like, Tomas signed the card for me, a little one-on-one. -on -one. I still got it. You know, somebody gifted me a Carlos Baca. I still got that. My boy Big Greg once killed a guy. Look at that. Got to work on that signature though, Big Greg. I ain't going to lie to you. He killed a guy once. You know, shout outs to uh, my boy hooking it up with the Dolphins hits, Andrew. Got those. Somebody gifted me a Morgan. Like, that's just like a base card or something. And I still got it. Even the CBJ, a Jameis Winston base card. Like, dude. Like, I, you guys have, have started me off on my own collection. So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm a little sad I wasn't able to make my PSA cards this year because I just did not have time. So there are no... The, the 2018 living set of Cardboard Moses is non-existent this year, sadly. Charles Clay, Bills, press proof. 
Uh, Michaels has a great multi-card wall thing that sold. Huh, interesting. I might have to look into that. Dude, I haven't gone to Michaels in forever. Wolfie, I do not have a P.O. box. No. I, I, I am civilized, and uh, I have my own mailbox. Thank you very much. No, I'm kidding. No, I, I, we, we, we do not have a, a P.O. box. But if you want to send me something, you can just send it to the address uh, that's on the on the labels or whatever that we send you. 9350 South Dixie Highway, Miami, Florida, 33156. Sweet, 1580. Brandon Marshall, the 106 Broncos. Ooh, that is nice. Damn, this has been a really good, uh, like, three boxes so far. Saquon Barkley, 7 out of 10. Auto for the Giants. That's a nice card. That is a nice card. Dude, there's nice stuff in Donruss. You just got to deal with all the other BS. But there's some really nice stuff. Like that Saquon. No, not on card. Not on card, unfortunately. Cameron Brake, Buccaneers. Press proof. Uh, Big Greg, hashtag don't believe the hype, dog. That's why I'm kind of I'm kind of not mad that we haven't done our draft yet, or like done any of our fantasy football stuff, because people are still getting hurt. You know what I mean, like. Death charts still are not like nowhere near done completion. So I know Jason's taking care of all the fantasy football stuff, but I low key want to get in his ear and be like, yo, dog, don't do it until like week, like bef the week before the season starts. Jeremy Shockey to 123, patch for the Giants. So that was a Giants box, a giant relic, and an autograph. Very nice. So yeah, dude, you gotta, you gotta. Do you plan on framing that, uh, that girly, Ryan, and you know, put it up on the, on the, the old uh, man cave? Casey Hayward, press proof for the Chargers. You don't do yours until after th week three of preseason. Yeah, see, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now, we still plan on doing the uh, the fantasy football deal here, you know, and we'll do it like how we did, how I did it last year. It was a live draft on the, on the, on the, uh, on the stream where we were all live drafting all together. It was pretty fun, man. And uh, we got to do it again this year. But it's going to be, it's going to be like two different leagues. There's going to be the Cardboard Moses League, and then there's going to be the Cardboard Jesus League. And you're going to get, like, drafted into each league. And then from there, we'll draft. And we'll go from there. Uh, Ryan, I love how you're adopting the forisms. <laughs> ah, dude, I love that kid. That kid is, is has become a verb. That is great. That is awesome. Chloe Kim got a random her. Oh, dude, that is dope, Ryan. Is the other one signed too? Cause we we had got both versions actually. We had got the one I sent you, and then we had a. Uh, we had got another one, like the other version. I think we gave you the blue-yellow one. I forget. Like, I think it was the yellow. Well, they're both blue and yellow, but whatever. One of them is, like, mostly yellow, and the letterings are blue. 
And then the other one is like mostly blue and the lettering is yellow. And uh, we actually had got both of them, like one of each. I gave the other one away to, to, to Bateson and I kept the other one. And it just so happened that, uh, that you're a Rams fan, so I figured why not, bro. For the love of money. My friend was like, who's hitting me up at these booty call hours? And then I saw, oh, it's my boy, Ryan. Okay. So the one I gave you was the blue one. And I could see the signature on the other one. Like a silver signature on the zero. Oh, dude, that's dope. He signed them both, like at the bottom. One's on the three, the other one on the zero. That's pretty dope. It was meant to be, Ryan. It was meant to be. That's sick. Check it out. I'll show you guys. So this is the one I gave him. Has the uh, the signature there on the bottom. Don't be jealous. If you guys are cool, you know, I'll give you cool gifts like this too. And then the he has another one with the silver autograph underneath the zero. So one underneath the three, the other underneath the zero. That is really dope. There you go, Ryan. That's awesome, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. Because I did, like, I went way out of my way to do something, like, just equally as nice for somebody else. And the way they reacted, bro, like, it, it kind of made me, like, never wanted to do, like, because, bro, I went out of my way to get a signature for somebody. And then the message I got in return, I was, yo, I was livid. And I was like, yo, you know what? It's, it's not worth it, bro. Like, I'm not even going to, like, you know you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm spending money out of my own pocket to do this for people. And, like, they don't even appreciate it. Like, I can't even get a thank you. All I get is, like, complaints. And then and then I do that for Ryan. And I get a freaking essay from Ryan. And I could, I could, like, I could feel the emotion. Like, my boy was super happy, super appreciative. Like, Kels, I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it. Honestly, like just thinking about it is pissing me off. Uh, and I hope I never have to deal with that person ever again, honestly. Um, but anyway, I went above and beyond for that person. Only for them to like send me like one of the most disrespectful, unappreciative, like fucking... Oh, God. But then, you know, then you do something nice for somebody like Ryan, and then there you go. My boy sent me a long-ass message like, yo, dog, thank you so much, bro. Like, you know, that's what this is for, man. It's all about, I'll, I'll, dude, I love to give. I love to give. But when people take that for granted and don't appreciate, like, what I do for them, like, or what I'm trying to do for them, like, they don't see the effort I put into it and, like, the thought and, like, you know what I'm saying? When that, like, goes unnoticed, unappreciated, it it pisses me off to no end. All right. Let's keep it going. Dude, I didn't even get Ra Ra's autograph, uh, freak. I didn't even get Ra Ra's signature. So don't, don't feel too bad about it. All right. I'm kind of running out of space here. So I'm going to just slide to the left right there. Oh, dude, Ryan. I cannot wait, bro. I cannot wait. I hope so, bro. Honestly, I do. Because... Because fuck that guy, really. Piece of shit. Alright, anyways. Let's, uh... Let's keep... Let's move it forward. Jamal Adams... Press proof for the Jets. Well, listen, Kels, that, that's like the more I get to know you guys, like I was, I, I fully intended to give Freak of Nature a Barry Sanders autograph, 
Unfortunately, I was not able to keep my autographs. Otherwise, I would have gifted him that Barry Sanders auto, no problem. Because I'm, because I, I genuinely like, I, I like to give, I like to give back. Like I, I would rather give gifts than get gifts. You know, like that brings me happiness. Like straight up, like corny as it sounds, I love to give. I really do. So like Kells, you know, once I get something that I think you'll like, please believe I'll send it to you. Same thing with Big Greg or anybody else that's watching, you know, my regular customers. If I know you're like a Cowboys fan and I come up on some Cowboys swag, I won't even think twice about sending it to you. You know what I mean? Freak of nature, dog, I'll do something nice for you. Don't worry. I think I think you know what I'm going to do for you. So, uh, you're welcome. Kurt Warner, Cardinals to 100. Can you say Acuna, freak of nature? Anyways, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't, listen, I don't mind giving gifts away at all, yo, at all. Like, I have this Joe Montana Chiefs jersey just chilling there, and, you know, I, I want to give it away to somebody, too, but I, I want to give it away to somebody that, one, I know is a fan, and two, I know is not, like, going to sell it or something, and is actually going to, like, you know, really like it and like get it framed and put it up on their wall or something you know Barry Sanders to 50 Lions Aqueous test for Dalton Schultz rookie for the Cowboys I mean you could do that too if you want just bring you gotta bring you gotta bring drinks though freak and you gotta bring Nikki Stars. I'll pay her and break credit. <laughs> uh, hey, baby, you take break credit? It's better than cash. It's better than Bitcoin. Well, sure, Daddy. Ooh, case hit and everything. Von Miller of the Broncos from downtown. That's nice. That is nice. Von Miller case hit for the Broncos from downtown. That's sick. Got to take a picture of that. Hey, there you go. I'll give her something to do, uh, freak. Keenan Allen to 100 Chargers. The downtown cards are like sick as hell. Because, like, they, it's a different material and everything. Like, it's not like this good old cardboard. No. It's made of, like, a, it's like a plasticky material. It, it kind of feels like PVC, honestly. Like, these cards, too, the Dominators have, like, a different feel to them. To 25, Andrew Luck, Colts. Is he finally going to, like, play this year? Chris Evans. Autograph for Chris Evans of the Patriots? What the F? Captain America with the autograph? There you go. Patriots. Some would say that's better than Tom Brady. Yeah, like right. Is, he, is his neck still giving him issues? I hope not, man. That kid was really nice, man. Before, you know, he got Hoyt.
Press proof for Danny Etling. Patriots. What do we have here? Dak Prescott of the Cowboys to 99 with the little uh, Leather King relic. Is that a... Yeah, that feels like a football, all right. Now it has my DNA on it. Boom, a little 101 now. Get out of my face. What else we got? Michael Crabtree to 400 Ravens. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, Andrew Luck being healthy is one thing, but did they address the O-line? Because that's the reason he broke his neck in the first place. That O-line cannot protect that dude at all. It sucks because when, you know, when he was healthy, dude, he was up-and-coming quarterback, man, really good. But then his O-line was like, ole, and just let everybody go by. How long have I been doing this break already? Close to an hour? Sounds about right. This is getting too tall. Much better. Yes, sir, Devin, but I'm almost done. Believe it or not. Almost done. Two boxes left. Eric coming through with the damn Eric. Tell me how you really feel. Colts sold their soul for luck. That's a nice pun right there. Wish them nothing but bad karma, to be honest. Damn, yo. Are you a Colts fan, Eric? Tell me how you really feel, dog. Ah, got you. A Peyton fan. Well, that makes sense. Because, yeah, they, they did do my doll pretty dirty. Hit him with the Eli face. <laughs> the one face he has. Ooh, Kells. Ouchies. Well, I thought it, but I'm glad you said it. You know, I thought the same thing about Andrew Luck, too. You know, kind of like, like a little... Like a minute version of it, you know what I mean? Like just a couple chromosomes off, you know what I mean? Uh, On to box five. Who? What? What an adventure that has been, Donruss football.
Luke Falk, die crit to 75 Titans. Deshaun Jackson, Bucks press proof. It's 100. Jason Wayne, Cowboys. Isn't he going to be like an announcer or something for like ESPN now? Uh, freak, uh, I don't, I, 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 listen, I don't know, I don't know my boy Peyton at all, but I'm pretty sure he cut ties with Papa John's. If not, we're going to have to relinquish, uh, Peyton's hood pass, because Peyton, Peyton does have a hood pass. Peyton has a hood pass. But if he has any affiliations with Poppy Johns, oh no. That's what I call him. I call him Poppy Johns. Joe, Th <laughs> Joe Theismann on 100 Redskins. Dude, Jason Witten did so much for that team. He was like an extra O-lineman who could also catch the ball. Well, Freak, I don't know about all that, but he does have a hood pass. Jared Goff for the Rams to 25, two-color patch. Dude, I haven't seen a single commercial for Papa John's since that whole fiasco. And they used to be on, like, all the time. Like, I, I wonder if they're still... The official pizza of the National Football League. If they are, well then, that tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? Ooh, Ryan, I'm going to have to agree on that one, dog. Jason Witten doesn't get the respect he deserves, but he was... A great tight end. I could say that now. Was. Because he's not playing no more. If you go back and look at the numbers, man. That dude, all-time great. First battle of Hall of Famer, I think. And like a good dude. Like, you never you never hear about, like, Jason Witten ever being, like, in any fiascos or nothing like that. So, at least he was smart enough to keep, you know, his personal business personal. Joey Boza, press proof, Chargers. Wolfie, did, are you serious? Did you really work for Papa John's once and then Poppy John's came by and was like, yo? <laughs> ah, Poppy John's. We have Uchena Nwosu, Chargers press proof. You've always loved how Olsen cleaned up his act after the U. Well, I think Greg Olsen himself could tell you. You can take the boy out the U, but you can't take the U out the boy. It's still there. It's still there. I promise you it is. Once a hurricane, always a hurricane. That's another dude whose hood pass is good to go anywhere. Tony Gonzalez, speaking of, great tight ends right here. My dude had, oh, well, this was in 2004. He had 102 receptions. As a tight end, that's ridiculous, bro. For his career, he averaged 11.4 yards. He had 111 touchdowns, over 15,000 yards, 
1,300 receptions. That is impressive. Well, this is true, Ryan. I mean, he, he had to go through that to then, you know, be where he's at now. It's a good thing the internet wasn't around back in the 80s because, oh boy. <laughs> Those hurricane teams would have been, oh man. Y'all you, 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 think we were, we're bad now? Imagine if there was social media back in the days. Oh man. Oh, man. My boy, Mark Walton, to 99. You know what school he went to. Do you? Just, 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 just look at this. Just look at this stat line for, for, for his, for his last season with Miami. 56 attempts, 428 yards. That's a 7.6 average yo not only that but my man can catch the ball seven receptions 91 yards 13 average this kid is a stud oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to tell people stack up your Mark Waltons because that kid is gonna be money uh wouldn't that be Aaron Hernandez yeah of course I've heard of the seventh floor crew, dog. Come on, Ryan. Like, you can't be from Miami and you can't be a Hurricane fan without knowing about the seventh floor crew. Like, come on. Mike White of the Cowboys, the 499. Autograph. Greg Olson had, like, one of the coldest. I think it was Greg Olson. He had, like, one of the coldest lines in there. Good times in Miami. Good times. Exactly, Ryan. Exactly. And now for the last box. Watch. I'm so glad that I have people chatting in the room, talking to me, preserving my sanity as I do this break. Isn't it crazy how we've become so sensitive to things nowadays, y'all? Like, back in the day, the 7th Floor crew would, was able to do their thing. And, like, it was, yeah, it made news, but it was it would not have been nearly as big a deal as it would have been in today's day and age. Like, man, people are just becoming more and more and more sensitive. And Oh, my God, I'm offended. Oh. I still want I still want that uh Catholics versus convicts t shirt. Kells, look it up. I think the song should be on YouTube. It was uh it was a few Miami Hurricanes. They came out with like this rap song. I think it was like a diss to like another team or something. Um I forget the details, but it was it was like three or four of them. The only reason I know Greg Olson is in it is because he had probably one of the coldest verses out of all of them. Tell me about it, Ryan. Like you can't even like you can't even beat your kids anymore. Shit, let me have kids. I can't wait to whip that ass.
All right, here we go. Last box mojo. Good luck, peeps. Hey, Barry Sanders to 100. Lions. Ooh, almost tossed it like, boy, like that. Marvin Jones Jr. to 11 for the Lions. Man, they still got those birds out. Auto B. Where B's the auto? Isaiah Oliver, Falcons press proof. I just want to say a big shout out to those of y'all that have been chatting with me. For the last hour or so, preserving my sanity as I uh, finish up this uh, Donnie Russ uh, food ball. For the Falcons to 100, Julio Jones. Uh, Ryan, uh, yeah, not sure if uh, you know. You probably don't, but I don't have that case, man. We need to order it. We uh, we have seventeen eighteen revolution, not sixteen seventeen. We gotta order a case of that, and uh, I will be sending out emails to everyone involved in those breaks, letting them know what's up and keeping you updated with a uh, break date and time. But revolution basketball did not happen, bro. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. That's his, that's his actual name. <laughs> to 25 Packers die cut. Like who, like, I wonder what the fuck Mom's Dukes was thinking. Man, what do you want to call you? Ha ha. Are you serious? Ha ha. Okay, his name is Ha ha. Okay, his actual name is Hasim. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. <laughs> and, the, and the fact that his last name was like Dix? Like, really? Ha ha, Dix! <laughs> I'm just childish. Uh, Ryan... I I responded to you, dude. Like I I don't have the case, man. Ryan can uh, Ryan, we did not break Revolution Basketball because I do not have the case. I do not have the case. We need to order a whole brand new case because I do not have sixteen seventeen Revolution uh, Basketball. As I said earlier. I am going to be emailing everyone in those breaks, letting them th letting them know the situation that I don't have the I don't have the case. I need to order one, and when we do order it and receive it, I will give you guys a break date and time. But Ryan Alway, there is no Revolution Basketball. It did not happen because we got to order a case, dude. Uh, will Fuller the fifth to ninety nine patch for the Texans. Press proof for the Bengals, Tyler Eifert. I don't think we've hit the autograph yet. Um, 
Malik Hooker of the Colts to 100. Really, Ryan? I might. You know what? I need to visit that. I've never heard of that place. I could use some cooter sauce. Taco's a pretty awesome nickname. Yo, can some. Yo, Ryan, seriously? How many times have I responded to this character? Calvin Ridley to 49 for the Falcons. That's nice. That's a nice autograph right there for the Falcons. Can somebody tell Ryan Alway the situation with the Revolution basketball? Nothing there. All right, boom. That's it for the break. Now there is one little thing we need to random. And that is the fans of the game. Got to random that. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to roll the dice. We're going to go 5 plus 3, 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we're going to random all the teams... Screen here. Get my teams. Got all the teams on the screen there. Put this back up because why not? All right, so we're gonna go nine, uh, eight times in the random. I got all the teams here for the Chloe Kim insert. Good luck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight times. It's going to the Rams. So congratulations, Rams. Getting the Chloe Kim case hit. Very nice, very nice. Boom. Now recap time. So the Chloe Kim going to the Rams. What else we got? Well, let's do our relics. Will Fuller to 99 Texans. Jared Goff for the Rams to 25. Dak Prescott Cowboys to 99. Jeremy Shockey Giants to 125. Dak Prescott Cowboys to 150. Samari Perrine Redskins to 25. What else we got? Well, we have a low-numbered parallel to 10, Ezekiel Ansa for the Lions. So we got Von Miller Broncos. That's the case hit right there from downtown. Boom. Autographs. Calvin Ridley to 49 Falcons. Mike White of the Cowboys, 499. Chris Evans, fan of the game for the Patriots. Jaleel Scott Ravens to 499. Saquon Barkley of the Giants, 7 out of 10. And a Joe Montana, 3 out of 5. Patch Auto for the Niners. Disgusting hit right there. And that was the break, my mains. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get that out to you.